Nice to see you. Carry on. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. What? That area is strictly off-limits. Can't have people fooling around with the terminal down there. They could shut off power and open the escape door. Why? I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehaved. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Ms. Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Good day. Good to see you. What? Take care. What? Maybe try talking to Mr. Tenpenny or Chief Gustavo. They're probably the ones who would know. I don't know. I mean, they're all deformed and scary looking. I bet they're really mean, too. Well, you seem like you know what you're talking about. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. I might not spend much time with them. And if they do anything stupid, I'm sure they'll get kicked out. Fine. It's okay. I guess so. Take care. Yes? Good to see you again, comrade. Only that they keep generators down there, and some kind of emergency escape tunnels. Oh, you know who you should talk to? Comrade Dashwood. He knows this place like the back of his hand. Ghouls wouldn't make the best of neighbors, comrade. Well, perhaps you're right, comrade. Some of these folk have a few things to learn about camaraderie, that's for sure. Well, all right. I'm willing to give them a chance. All right, comrade. We'll welcome them into the community. Later, comrade. Charmed, I'm sure. Hey! You remind me of myself, back when I was a young adventurer. Aha! Uh -huh. So you've been exploring the tower! Well done! Let's just say that Gustavo's not the only one with a key for the generator room. Well, it does get a trifle bit boring around here, and to spice things up, I like to do a little exploring. Oh, I always put everything back. Well, almost everything. I occasionally keep a memento, like Gustavo's key to the generator room. Have you noticed how he turns a delightful shade of purple when he's angry? 
Well, kid, there are two keys floating around. Which one do you think you can nab without getting caught? Good luck! Bah! I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine! But you better not get caught with that. Well, I wouldn't mind, but they'd better be civilized. The tenants here are real uppity, and most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. Like I said, it's fine by me. Of course! I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Now there's an interesting vacation destination. Don't forget to have a little fun out there. Evening. Ah, hello. I remember you. To what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> You're joking, right? You serious? Of course not. Ghouls can't live here. They're dirty, loathsome creatures. I'm afraid I can't abide by that. I can't imagine Tenpenny would allow it. But I certainly won't. Don't care. The only way those ghouls are getting in is over my dead body. I've already told you, no! This is outrageous, preposterous, forced out by a bunch of dirty ghouls and some bleeding heart activist? Where will I live? How will I get there? I found a comfortable place, but now I must leave. When I die, it will be on your head. Yes? Can I help you? Farewell. Watch your manners. You may speak to me, and please, don't be tedious. I don't suppose there is someone else for you to talk to? Dear Lord, are you serious? Ghouls? Living here? With us? That's simply out of the question. Ha! I think I know a fair share more than some vagrant blown in off the waists. You are simply mistaken. They may appear nice, but deep down, they want to kill. It's common knowledge among the educated. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Ha! I know everything about my neighbors. Some things they don't even know themselves. I'm certain that they won't agree to this ridiculous idea. And even if they did, I certainly won't. I believe I've told you no. Damn it! This can't be happening! Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get away from ghouls, monsters, and scum like you? Now I'll have to start all over again. Where will I go? I already did. I hope one of your ghoul buddies kills you. You'll see. I can't talk now. I can't talk now. I remember... Yes? Hey. 
Hey, this better not be a waste of my time. Ah, yes. I was wondering when you'd try me. You may be able to coerce the others, but I'm not such a pushover. Your zombie buddies will need to find someplace else to live. Then my neighbors will have lost their minds, just like you have. Now go away. You're being serious? That's out of the question. What an absurd notion. I think you must have been out in the sun too long. Perhaps I could sell you a nice hat to keep your brain from frying? You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your disgusting buddies have to push honest, hardworking, important people around like that? Where do you propose I live? Don't worry. Did you just step out of a vault? Haven't you seen what's out there? I'm doomed. And it's all your fault. Where will I go? Where will I go? Hello. I know you. You're that guy. You know, the one that... Whatever. I know you've been talking to the others about the ghouls, and I've been mulling the whole thing over a few cocktails. Well, more than a few. And I've decided that I'd be willing to give it a go. Having ghoul neighbors, I mean. What the hell? Sure. Cheers! I'm on duty, can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. I take it this is a social call and not business? It's my turn, eh? Well, you won't be getting me to go along with your ridiculous plan. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. If my neighbors lose their minds and agree to such a thing, then I hope security shoots them in the head with their zombie friends. You can't be serious. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. Why would you hang out with dirty vermin like that? You enjoy sifting through feces. You know it's only a matter of time before they get hungry and eat you. You're crazy. Ghouls will never live in Tenpenny Tower. <sighs> You'll regret this. I've spent years collecting all this fabulous merchandise. I won't stand for this. Where the hell am I supposed to go? The only suitable place is Tenpenny Tower. Everywhere else stinks and caters to low-life scum like you. I'll die out there. I just know it. There must be somewhere safe out there. There must be somewhere safe out there. There must be somewhere safe out there.